Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Hooray! It's minus 30. I got the fire on. Um, yeah, rural Alberta. How rural, you ask? Salford Tillage Rural. 20 minutes off the belt line. Featuring the full 2015 lineup. So, yeah, it's very, very cold out there. Not to worry, the goats are warm. They've got their shelters, they've got their food, they've got their water. We'll also notice that there is no mic stand. It's uh, maybe about two meters that way. Um, the only reason being is uh, I'm not using it. <laughs> it's like right there and it casts a shadow. I had some ideas to play seeing as how much I really love using Dadgad and yet uh, standard tuning is the one that's popular. Other kinds of alternate tunings, uh, especially the ones that were uh, inspired by the blues. So I will be referring to my notes. Here. I do have a music workbook. I use a lot of uh, uh, clipboards, a lot of blank paper. I got a stamp. I should show you the stamp. <clears throat> this is my stamp. I use it, uh, <laughs> the music stamp, aptly till title, because <clears throat> the guitar has got fretboards, and with the fretboards, you've got different patterns. And with different patterns, using your fingers, you'll be able to come up with some pretty neat structures and uh, chords. Uh, a lot of instruments um, have fixed holes or fixed um, keys, uh, mm, pedals that you play, and guitar doesn't. Um, piano, everything laid out in front of you. Guitar, everything's laid out in front of you. And uh, knowing some theories um, about how you should lay everything out, things that sound pleasing, things that you can invent and make pleasing, uh, you could definitely use. Of course, different artists at different periods of times with the different cultural influences and different geographies um, all come up with their little licks and tricks and it's pretty fun to experiment with because you come up with your own ideas and your own style or your own uh, iterations. Now, here's a question for you. Should I use my acoustic or my electric? Uh, or traveler? Mm -hmm. What should I use? Tell me. I'm listening. Okay, if you said electric, I heard electric. This is in DADGAD, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -A -D. this is what I like to use. I'm going to change it to standard tuning. And this is what it sounds like when it's standard. E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Kind of boring for me after so many years, but uh, I learned a lot of patterns on this sort of thing that helps me do what I need to do. A lot of music that I like was written with this particular uh, standard tuning. So uh, a lot of my muscle memory is into it. guitar originally and that's got standard tuning and uh, learned how to do things arpeggio like that was kind of fun so 
something that I learned though is uh, sometimes when you do bar chords, you get a more melodic feel to it. Complemented as long as you fit the pattern, and uh, with the pattern, uh, you can map it out again using the stamp. And uh, then I started experimenting. I started using more open strings and open tuning. A lot of people from the '90s will recognize the drop D. When you listen to the drop D, with everything else, it doesn't make any sense. So I think that a lot of guitarists like the drop D. I know a lot of vocalists like the drop D because it just brings everything down a notch. Well, uh, a full tone. But you can still solo. Be sure uh, a lot of solo tricks. You don't get to lose because you learn them all. And you can continue doing what you were doing before. Now I imagine um, when you're traveling and strings are kind of hard to come by because you're poor or you don't have a store or strings are just not available, um, you break them. And so you're down to five. Uh, some guitarists are known for five strings. Banjo's got five strings. Ukuleles, ukuleles they've got four strings. And uh, you can do lots with that. Um, I like six strings. There's some seven strings, eight string guitars. Um, and you could do even more with those, or less. I remember I was in Ukraine, uh, part of a big jamboree for uh, orphans and half-orphans, and it was a big charity, it was pretty cool. And um, there, well, one of the security officers had uh, borrowed my guitar, I let him, and uh, it, he, it broke. He used another string and he managed to tighten it up. Uh, he didn't have the length that was required, but he still had the old string and he tightened it up using the other nut. And it was resourceful, but that's all he had. Uh, and he made it work. If you take away a particular string, sometimes uh, it just helps things along because you take it out of the equation and it's one less thing that you kind of have to worry about. So you could uh, try to hack it that way. The way to make things a lot less complicated is by, instead of removing the string, um, moving that string's tuning to something different. And so you can just play more openly and it'll sound much more harmonious because the wavelengths will fit. One particular genre that was very, very popular uh, that did open string tunings is uh, the Mississippi Blues, the Delta Blues, and uh, everything from going Mississippi up uh, through that whole valley system. Uh, there's a lot of ethnomusicology that goes uh, stems from that. Um, I have a book I'm going to show you. Uh, and he talks about different uh, blues musicians uh, from the Mississippi Delta all the way up to Chicago. I found this book at a, a thrift store called The Bluesman by Samuel Charters. And if you go on Wikipedia, you can find out. Um, he did some extensive musicology about the bluesmen of the Mississippi Delta onwards. And he gives some notations. If you like to read music. Some really good uh, archival posters that you could uh, really get lost in. Some really, really old stuff. Down the dirt road blues. Screaming, hollering the blues. Spoonful blues by Charlie Patton. Pony blues. Holy crap, 1967. Yeah, he goes through uh, a lot of the greats. Uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Blind Lemon Jefferson, uh, Booker T. Washington, Booker White. Right? Charlie Patton, Robert Johnson, uh, Devil in the Crossroads, 
He does not talk about that, by the way. That is a myth. The story and the music of the men who made the blues. Yes, men who made the blues, not Satan. Note, he doesn't talk about Eric Clapton. Uh, or um, Keith Richards. Uh, they were huge bluesmen uh, that were inspired by a lot of the records coming from America in Britain. And uh, them folks, also like Jimmy Page, um, Jeff Beck, they did a lot of bluesy stuff, but they did it all electric, and they cranked it. So I'm going to switch to acoustic guitar for this next little bit. Once again, thank you very much, Colette, for this guitar. It is beautiful. And uh, I've got this pick up here that uh, makes it sound quite nice. Where was that? Ah, yeah. Uh, blues style and a lot of open tuning. Um, there is drop D, there's dead get I did, uh, open D minor, open G, open C, C minor, G minor, and a lot of those are quite good for sliding. Uh, with a, with a beer bottle, I've done that before. Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? <laughs> I've always wanted to do that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, spit takes. Gags are so fun to do. Ah, uh, this is a cloth tire. It's uh, German, it's 0% and it tastes freaking great. This is actually, this is really good stuff. It's uh, taking me some time to drink a bottle of beer. Uh, I've had my pizza already. <laughs> it's, that, that's gone like two hours ago. So I'm a little slow on the take here. Um, I'm gonna play more guitar and then we'll get back to this. Again, 0% class to Heiler. It's fantastic beer. Takes a bit of practice. Just get used to it and have some fun. With, uh, <laughs> I got a whole list of tunings here that I'm kind of experimenting with. Uh, because I'm in dad gap, I'll try D A D F sharp A D. So I'm just gonna bring the G down to F sharp. That sounds great. Woo! Let's try that with a slide. I guess I should say a few things about uh, lyrics. Um, lyrics are, for the blues, is pretty simple, straightforward, and from the heart. Uh, I never really had the blues so hard that I want to put it into song. I was never really creative that way. And I never grew up in uh, dire poverty, and I didn't have to work away my life. Um, I've been very lucky. Uh, I've been paying it forward to the communities in which I've been living in uh, through my career. I've never been able to put it together with music. Um, sure, I brought the guitar to work and uh, used it for certain cultural events, um, but the two never really inspired each other. Uh, but who knows, maybe in the future I can actually put the two things together if I can come up with a formula or a patron. Uh, yeah, want to give me money? This is really fun. 
<laughs> it's so easy and really fun. Now there's also ceramic instead of brass for a slide. And the ceramic is supposed to give it a dirtier sound. At least that's what I felt with the electric guitar when I, I've been experimenting with that. Not so much with these strings. Maybe it's because of the, the quality of the strings. Not so thin, them being acoustic. I could also do a D minor. So instead of an F sharp, I got an F natural. Oh, sadness. The difficulty with uh, using a minor slide is that you still have to hit major chords on it. So I just like put this on a different finger. Major. Now, uh, if you've been watching the show, you'll know that I'm sitting on a, a cajon and I've got a pedal. So what I'm going to be doing is stomping my foot. And what I might do is maybe throw on some distortion or uh, overdrive. It gives it a whole different feel, that's for sure. You can do things that you just typically wouldn't. I've got a capo, so it doesn't have to necessarily have to be D minor. Uh, I can bring it up E minor. Some chorus on this, maybe if I uh, add some reverb instead. Yeah, I guess that lonesome cowboy feel. Sure, why not? I've never done that before. That was actually pretty cool. Um, what about other tunings? Well, there's G, which is D, G, D, G, B, D. Let's give that a shot. I don't think this is 
going to stay very much in tune. I keep on changing the string tension, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Messing around. Experimental. Tension release. for 
since 2015. Ah, uh, my stomper foot pedal is getting away from me. I think I'll find my U.S. favorite thing to do right now. C minor, C G C G C D sharp. Ooh, let's tune this, baby. Oh, so sad. So sad. but like way more. D minor here, and I'm used to playing in Dadgad, so maybe this will sound a bit more familiar? Not really.
familiar motifs. the mind when I hear these different open tunings. Uh, some bluesy, some western, some heavy. And um, yeah, it feels really, really good. It's refreshing for the ear. Um, I have spontaneous ideas. Extra creative. And uh, if ever I break a string and I can mess around with that, if ever I run out of uh, ideas for new songs, I could mess around with this. I've got different instruments I can also play around with. And who knows, maybe I can overcomplicate things and have two different tunings for two different guitars and have that gone going together. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> so that was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, really unexpected. Um, thank you very much for Pioneers Before Me trying out different tunings and uh, bluesmen um, inspired and getting promoted and me being inspired through that. And if you are inspired, let me know. Uh, say hi. I'm going to continue making more of these videos and hopefully we'll have a, uh, a cycle happening here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. That's like episode 7. Oh, take a look at the fire. It's gone low. Well, it's time I pack it in according to my watch, which I have not been wearing this entire time. <laughs> I'm thinking of capping off the season at 12, but uh, we'll see. Um, I do want to start doing my singing, and I have been practicing, and with more karaoke possible, then I'll have some warm-up, finally. And uh, we'll have season two. <laughs>